cars are milling towards the star of the World Figure Eight Stock Car Championship. 33 of them, just like in Indianapolis, but there the resemblance ends, I can assure you. In the first row, we have number 167, Jack Barras of Jessup, Maryland. Number 47, Sam Atkins of West Babylon, New York. There they go, the green flag is out. Behind them, number 55, Mike Fincher, the defending champion from Bayshore, New York. 156, Bob Doyle of Central Iceland. And there, number 47, Sam Atkins battling with Jack Morass in 167 for the lead. This is a 25 lapper for the World Championship of this sport. Atkins is alone here. Oh, Barras is, you see that leader's hit that time, Chris? And there they go off the track. Wow, moving into the lead, that is Mike Pitchick, the defending champion in car number 55. Bob Doyle is there in 156, but there, 167 is not out of it yet. Even though he was in the crash, both 47. Uh, Atkins and 167 Barras have gotten back into the thick of it, but the leader is the defending champion Mike Pinchick in 55. You know, with a thousand dollars first prize, if you can buy five of these cars. Yes. Seriously, of the 33 car starting field, 19 were locals. Oh, boy, somebody got it that time, didn't they? Ah, the rest are visitors from all over the country, and it's sort of a thing here among the local drivers. They like to keep these visitors from getting their first prize money. They've taken more world championships down the local. Okay, well, the idea is to avoid the other cars, but occasionally it looks like the strategy is to nip another one, to knock them, knock them off the course. That happens, too. Try to stay away from that kind of activity at the crossroads, Jim, because it can get violent there. Oops, there's a... Wow. Lots of action out there right now. Let's see what this is going to do to the standings. There's 55, the leader still, Mike Pitchick. 47, still second, Sam Atkins. So they've both been very much in it right since the start. Number 08, Sonny Thompson, is moving up very well. Home tracker is in first and second. And here, number 96 is Park. It's Tom Marcello. He's out of it. So is uh, 16, Roy Press. But the action continues. And now the judgment starts to play. Here you have to sort of really take a deep breath, maybe even close your eyes to go through. Yes, I'm sure that's done on more than one occasion. The leader is still Mike Pinchick, the defending champion, going out to win it twice in a row. That'd be quite a deal, wouldn't it? It's never been done. 194, the second car you see there, has actually been lapped, so he is not in contention. And this time, it's not the top six. You just want to be the winner, to be the world championship. And there was Pinchick going off the track, and he has lost the lead. 47 has taken the lead. And there, number 76, George Greenwagon, Little Cuckoo Town, PA, out of it. There go all the hopes of the Nazareth Speedway fan. He represents that track. Okay, there is the leader now. That's Sam Atkins of West Babylon, New York, a marine mechanic. And there he is hit. He is hit by Pitchick, the defending champion, knocking him off the course. You think that could have been set out intentional, like Chris? I don't know. It didn't look exactly kosher, Jim. Uh, but he's back in it now. Okay, and now moving in not only into contention, but quickly into the lead is number 450, who came from nowhere. Tom Wagner of Lanham, Maryland. He represents the Dorsey Speedway. And now we have a visitor out Pitching, though, still in second place. Boy, he really just had to drive this for it, doesn't he? Well, it's a home track, and he's a consistent man. Uh, he races here every week. He knows it, uh, all the nuances of it. He knows how to get around. He's got his car set up just right. That was the leader, 450 spinning there, Chris. And it looks like we're going to have a red flag. Too much red on the track. And there's 47 getting hit again. And son of a gun, it was 55. Mike Pitchick, who hit him again for the second time in a very few laps. Atkins is target for tonight. Starter, Dutch Miller is uh, waving a flag here. Uh, the red flag, as we said, is out. Right. Flagman, uh, Jim, is a New York City detective when he's not flagging here at the ice with people. Okay, well, here's the first time that Atkins got hit by Pitcher. There he goes. In the nudge. Okay, that was the first time. But then a couple of laps later, here they came again. Same two cars with pretty much the same result. We'll have a restart very shortly, and we'll be back at ice with Son, I've been shaving 25 years, so here's a little advice. To get a good, clean electric shave, you need a really dry beard. But, Dad! To get a really dry beard, you gotta wet it first with Williams Electric Shave. I already use it. Electric Shave dries your beard so your whiskers stand up. Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Only kidding, son. Mm. Electric shave puts it all together. Oh, wow. So to get a really close shave with less irritation, get a really dry beard. Wet it first with... Electric shave! That's my boy. Here they come. Mm. 
Convy cars over there? He's French and Force cars over here. Okay, Volkswagen Super Beetle over here. French Terra, Woman, Capri, this, this way. way. There's no economy car. Look at those sexy lines. Look at the low price. Steel belted radios. Look at the low price. And look at that classy interior. But the gas mileage economy class. Hey, Capri, what are you anyway? Yeah. Capri, the sexy European with thrifty gas mileage. Hello, this is Janet Lynn. I hope you'll all join me tomorrow on ABC's Wide World of Sports in Tokyo for the world's first professional figure skating championship. Hello, Janet Lynn, whom you'll see tomorrow on Wide World performing in Japan, a country where she became a kind of a national hero because of her great performance during the Sapporo Winter Olympics. Others in that event tomorrow, by the way, will be the marvelous Proto Popovs of the Soviet Union. Back again, John Misha Petkovich of the United States, Cynthia and Ronald Kaufman, the great brother and sister team in pairs from the United States, all of them competing for $100,000 in prize money in Tokyo. Tomorrow on Wide World at 4.30 Eastern, 3.30 Central, and 4 Pacific time over most of these ABC stations. But now back to the action. We're going to have a restart here in the final for the World Figure 8 Stock Car Championship. Action in all four quarters of this track, so uh, there's a look at all four corners at this particular moment. On the restart, it's going to get really interesting. The leader is going to be Tom Wagner in car number 450. In second place is the defending champion, Mike Pinchuk in car 55, and number 08, Sonny Thompson is third. Number 40 there is a lap car. Don't worry about him. But he's in their way, Jim. And yeah, they're worrying about it, but we don't have to worry about him standing. But there's Tom Wagner getting by him. Number 450 is the leader. Again, Mike Pinchuk is second. Number 55 trying to retain his championship. And number 08, Sonny Thompson. Wagner's up from the Dorsey Speedway where they produce some pretty good figure entry. What a place to park. Huh? I was the leader who took that big wide group to get around the far rushing cars in the intersection. Back markers continuing to spin off the track, but it's uh, still the same leaders we have for you. There is Tom Wagner, sheet metal worker from Lanham, Maryland. And he has to slow down a little bit. Let's see if he can hold on to the lead. Well, the competition's ganging up on him there. Once you back off of that, you're really in trouble, Jim. You've got to sort of gauge it and establish a pace to get through where there's an opening. David Wagner still all right out in first, and there goes a couple other cars out of it. It's a subjective look from inside one of these cars. Now, number 08, Sonny Thompson is moving in on the leader 450. Uh, Wagner is the car right in front of you there, and 08 was just one on the right side of your picture. There's the leader you're looking at. You're right behind him. And there goes 08. There's a change in the lead. Sonny Thompson has just taken the lead in this race. You saw it happen. Our camera car driver, Jim, is Richard Simmons of Plymouth, Michigan, a former world champion from, what, from the Flat Rock Speedway. Okay, and he has to park his car as he spun out. Try to film. Okay, look at these cars side by side. Sonny Thompson in the lead. Second place is Tom Wagner, who had to the leader just a couple of moments ago. Now it's getting right down to the nitty gritty here. The drivers have uh, gotten rid of the competition. The cars are pretty evenly matched, and it's going to be a uh, wild tire. This is an outside uh, obstacle, Jim. We don't figure on these things. And if we were staying right in the middle of the intersection, the worst place you could possibly decide to be. As it continues to roll around and get knocked around, we still do not have a red flag or anything, but that could be trouble. Two laps to go. Okay. We still have Sonny Thompson in the lead in number 08. And that wheel still rolling. Sonny Thompson is a truck driver from Indianapolis, the most famous city for automobile racing. We get the white flag this time. That'll be one lap. There it is. Okay, this is the final lap. And it isn't over. Boy, this almost side by side. Thompson still slightly in the lead. There he goes on the outside, and here comes number 450 Wagner. Wagner takes the lead on the final lap, but there he spins into the infield. And Sonny Thompson apparently will take it all of the look out. They've got to make back. Uh, second spin talk. Sonny Thompson wins it. 450, Tom Wagner, although he was off the boundary, finishes second. Whew. Bob Doyle is third. Here's slow motion of that tire incident. Watch how they missed that tire. They did a real good job of driving. Okay, now let's take a look at the finish. Exactly how it happened. On the last lap, Tom Wagner, number 450, took the lead, but then just as soon as he took it, 
He lost control, spun into the infield, and 0-8, Sonny Thompson at the lead. The darker car, they're coming around the turn. But then Wagner took a little shortcut, which apparently they are going to allow, almost got back in first place, and managed to finish second. Second place going to Tom Wagner, and third place on the stop action to Bob Doyle. And now let's return to Keith Jackson in Petaluma, California. Thank you, Jim. The World Wrist Wrestling Championships being held 